There's tons of videos out there showing you how to remove junk from Windows 11, but there's not many videos showing you how to stop Windows from just reinstalling it. That's what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. So debloating Windows has pretty much become an industry at this point. Windows has been bloated for so long that there are retail software packages available whose sole purpose is to remove the crap that comes pre-installed with Windows. The problem is many of these packages work great, but once you run Windows Update, half of the crap comes back anyway. Microsoft does this through a simple trick called provisioning. It's essentially a fancy way of saying that they're going to install whatever they want on your computer, whether you like it or not. But today, I'm going to show you how to fix it. But first, I got to pay some bills, so check out today's sponsor. Are you still running Windows 11 unactivated because the license just costs too much? Then you should check out today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, where you can get a valid Windows 11 license for around $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark and actually be able to change your desktop background with a valid license for Windows 11. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 11 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 11 and click the link that says Change Product Key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit Activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark. And check out the description for deals on not just Windows, but Office too. Now, on with the video. I just got to give you guys a warning right now, but I'm kind of coming down with something, so my voice might seem kind of hoarse. I'm sorry, but... The show must go on, right? So, unfortunately, deep revisioning isn't going to help with all of Microsoft's bloat, but it will get rid of the majority of it. There's going to be a few stragglers left behind that unfortunately have to be dealt with in other ways. But luckily, deep revisioning does take care of the majority of the bloat that comes built into Windows. So, let's jump on the system and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are in a really default version of Windows 11. And as you can see, we've got Copilot here, we've got Outlook, we've got essentially all of the junk that typically comes with a Windows 11 install. We've got Microsoft Office 365, we've got Microsoft ClipChamp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, we're just gonna target a couple apps here because this method will work with most of the UWP apps that come built into Windows, which is essentially anything that you can get from the Microsoft Store. It won't get rid of stuff like, for instance, LinkedIn, but these aren't actually installed on your computer anyway. It's just links to the installer. So if you go and you hit uninstall, all it does is delete the ink link and it goes away completely. You don't actually have to go through with that one because it's not really installed in the first place. It shouldn't come back. Same thing with install WhatsApp. We can go ahead and just remove it from the list because it's not really installed. But some of the stuff that is installed are stuff like Outlook, things like Copilot, things like Microsoft Office, things like that are installed. So we're gonna go ahead and go through those today so I can kind of give you an idea of how to get rid of them. So the first one we're gonna deal with is the UWP apps. Those are gonna be like Outlook and they're also gonna be like Microsoft 365. That doesn't include Copilot, even though technically Copilot is a UWP app, Microsoft kind of protects it a little bit better than regular UWP apps and they call it a core component of the operating system. But that's okay, we can still get rid of it and I'll show you how. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up a PowerShell window just by clicking start and typing in PowerShell. And then for this one right here, we wanna make sure that we run PowerShell as an administrator. Hit yes to the user account control. And the first thing we're gonna do is look at what UWP apps we actually have installed currently right now. And to do that, what you do is type in get dash apex provisioned package space dash online space, and then we wanna use this little bar right here. This is called the pipe symbol. We're gonna go ahead and hit space, and we're gonna type in format, dash table, and then we're gonna type in package, name. And then when you hit enter here, it should, if you typed everything right, which of course I didn't, and as you can see, the right here, oh, I spelled package wrong. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go back and spell this right this time, hit enter, and we should still get something wrong. 
Oh, you know what? I did it again. I spelled package wrong here too. Well, you live and you learn, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and spell package right in the two places. Apparently I have a problem with the word package. And we hit enter and now it works. All right, so as you can see, this is the list of the UWP apps that we currently have installed right now. Now some of these apps, you're not gonna wanna go, ahead, you're not gonna wanna remove every single one of these apps because some of these are legitimately core components of Windows that you don't wanna remove. But there are some that simply aren't that you are gonna want to remove. Like for instance, one good example is Microsoft Office Hub. This is Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft 365 or Office 365 or whatever it's called this week. Another one is Outlook for Windows. This is essentially just the free mail app that comes built into Windows. And then also you have ClipChamp right here. And as you can see, there is no Copilot because Copilot, like I said, is a protected Windows app. But you do have stuff like MS Teams and things of that nature. But like I said, I'm not gonna go through every single one of those. I'm just gonna go through a few today just to show you how to do it. But if you want this list to be a little bit more formatted, what you can also do is use the same command that we did before, but instead of package name, go ahead and type in display name, comma package name, and then that'll give you more of a formatted list. So it'll tell you kind of what the application is here and the version number here. Now keep in mind, this package name is just the version that you currently have installed. But what we're gonna be doing is going to deprovision the entire package, not just that version. So just keep that in mind too. So once you get to this point, what we're gonna wanna do is actually deprovision the app right now. So the one that I wanna de deprovision right now first is I wanna go ahead and get rid of Microsoft Office Hub. So this is the Microsoft Microsoft Office 365 that's built in. So what we're gonna do is use the package name right here. This is the version that's currently installed. We're gonna go ahead and highlight it just like this and then hit Control C to copy. And then from there, we're gonna go down to the bottom right here. We're gonna type in remove dash AppX provisioned package this time we're gonna spell it right. The first time, I'm <laughs> gonna space dash online. And this is just talking about the online operating system. This is the operating system that's currently running right now. And then we're gonna put another dash and we're gonna take package name, P-A-C-K-A-G-E for package. <laughs> and then we wanna paste in what we just copied. So that's gonna be curl V to paste in Microsoft Office Hub, just like that. And then all we wanna do at this point is go ahead and hit enter, and we should get this online true, restart needed false. So this is essentially a good response that you get, and that package is essentially deprovisioned now. Now, if we wanna do another one, we can go ahead and let's go through and let's deprovision, let's do... All right here, let's do Outlook for Windows right here. This is one that I have to uninstall all the time because I've got customers that use the actual Outlook, not this silly will one with the pointed top right here. And what ends up happening inevitably is I'll bring them their computer back and they'll call me and tell me why has Outlook changed? And it's it hasn't, it's because they're clicking on the wrong link. So I usually uninstall this one constantly, but you don't want it just to reinstall itself with Windows Update, which it will do. So go ahead and highlight that and hit Control C for copy. And then all you have to do now since you've already typed this out, you just have to hit the up arrow to get it back and then just delete the paste that you put in there before and then hit control V again to paste in the new one and then hit enter and it'll go ahead and deprovision it. Now, if you wanna make sure that it's been deprovisioned, you can go ahead and click on start right here. Click on reg edit. Go ahead and open up your registry editor here and then you wanna go to local machine, software. Then from software, you wanna go Microsoft and then you wanna go Windows, so scroll down until you find the Windows key right here. And then from there, we wanna go Current Version and then AppX, just like that. And then you wanna hit AppX All Users Store. That's the first one right here. And then scroll over to the side because we can't see where we're going anymore. And then we wanna click on Deprovisioned right here. And as you can see, we have Microsoft Office Hub and Outlook for Windows. Now, as long as these keys are here, don't worry about what's in this screen right here. That doesn't matter. As long as they're right here, then they will not reinstall the next time you run Windows Update or even when you do an in-place upgrade. And then every one you run that command on will also be added to this section. Now, keep in mind though, that you could just add the name of the app. And add as you can see, let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here. As you can see, 
This name right here is different than the name we pasted in here. And the reason why is because what we pasted in was the actual version number of the app. Well, for the deep provisioning, it doesn't care about the version number. So it actually got the actual name of the app itself in order to uninstall it. So you don't have to worry about just this version not reinstalling, but all versions of that app won't reinstall at this point forward. But like I said, you can just add the link or the key right here to the deprovisioned tag in the registry if you don't want it to install. But the problem is, is that this isn't all this command does. This command does more than just add this line to the registry right here. What this command does is it actually removes this app from the package itself. So that way, if you create a new account on the same system, it won't just throw these same programs in there. It removes them from the system image itself as well as adding it to the registry. So you wanna actually deprovision by using this command, not just by throwing this inside of the registry. However, just throwing it inside of the registry will stop it from installing. Now, once you do that, the next stage is just to click start, go to all programs, and at this point, you still have to uninstall the app itself because what we just did doesn't actually uninstall the app. What we did right now only deprovisions it. So you gotta go ahead and uninstall it anyway. Now, keep in mind, you can only really do this for apps that are already installed on your computer. You can't really run that command on apps that aren't installed because you gotta get this name right here. But if you already did install one of these apps, you can Google what the UWP name is for certain apps, and you can find it that way also, but it might not be 100% successful because you know sometimes Google results aren't as accurate as you'd like them to be. Now, if you're paying attention, you probably noticed that I left a pretty big piece of bloatware just out there in the open, and that would be Copilot. This method previously would have worked with Copilot, but Microsoft has made it a core function of the OS, and as such, it isn't able to be deprovisioned. But if you know me, then you know that I don't give up very easy because there is a simple way to get around that. Let's jump back on the system, and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so since we have the registry already open, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna go all the way back up to the top right here, right up into local machine. And then we're gonna go back into software again. And from software, we wanna go into policies this time. So in policies, then we're gonna go into Microsoft. Then from Microsoft, we're gonna go into Windows right here. And then from Windows, we want to actually add, you're going to have to look and see if you have Windows Copilot as a key in here. If you don't, you probably won't. Go ahead and hit new key and type in Windows Copilot. And then go ahead and hit enter. And then from here in the white stage right here, you want to right click, hit new, and hit D word, 32 bit value. And then you want to type in turn off Windows. Copilot, and then hit enter. And then go ahead and double click on that and change it to one. Now, once doing this, it doesn't actually do anything. And you've probably noticed that if you've ever tried doing this before, because there's one more step that you actually have to do at this point. Go ahead and close this, click on start, go to all apps, and then you actually have to remove the app. You have to go ahead and hit uninstall and remove the app. Now, I've tested this, and after adding that, see, if you don't add that registry key, the next time you run Windows Update, it'll put Copilot right back on the computer. But if Windows Update detects that key has been set to turn off Copilot, it doesn't reinstall it. So apparently, by setting that registry key, it removes it from being a core component of the operating system. So, good riddance, Copilot. Now, at this point, you should be able to safely run Windows Update without worrying about these apps reinstalling themselves. Now, there's many apps within Windows that you can uninstall that actually do stay gone. One of those, believe it or not, is OneDrive. Up until recently, OneDrive was a provisioned app as well, but it was removed by Microsoft. So now, when you uninstall it, it actually stays gone. But the whole purpose for provisioning is not to make the experience better for users. Ultimately, all of these apps Microsoft has financial motivation to keep on your computer. They don't care about us specifically. They know we're not gonna use these apps and they know that we're gonna continue to uninstall them. But here's the thing, 
We're not their target audience. But what they do want is to make sure that these apps are reinstalled when we uninstall them for someone else. Whether that be, like in my case, a customer, or in your case, maybe your mom. And I, I don't mean that as a joke. I mean, like literally, if you work on your mom's computer. <laughs> this is the same reason why you don't see Microsoft account warning screens on the, after the first few days after you install Windows without a Microsoft account. Because they're waiting for you to bring the computer back to whoever you're setting it up for. And then those nag screens will start. They don't care about you. But with that said, once following this guide, these apps shouldn't reinstall themselves again. Unless, of course, Microsoft changes something or you reinstall them. But they still won't be provisioned even if you reinstall them. But either way, we'll deal with that when the time comes. But if you don't want to stop at just removing Copilot and you want to get rid of all the AI in Windows 11, then check out this video here where I show you how to do just that. One of these days, Microsoft's gonna figure out that we just don't want all this AI crap anymore. But until then, you can always remove it. As always, you guys have a great day.